Okay, so necroptosis. Necroptosis, as the name tells you pretty much, is a combination of necrosis and apoptosis. It is yet another way of cell death. It is also referred to as programmed necrosis because it is initiated by signaling, kind of like apoptosis, like the receptor-mediated type of apoptosis, but yet it ends in necrosis like death. So morphologically and also to some degrees biochemically, it is very similar to necrosis. It incorporates a lot of characteristics of necrosis, for example, we have loss of ATP, we have swelling of the cell and organelles, we have generation of reactive oxygen species, we have release of lysosomal enzymes that degrade all the internal proteins and molecules, and ultimately, of course, we have rupture of plasma membrane. Click right up here to watch my video on necrosis and learn more about that. So the difference with necrosis is that necroptosis is initiated via external signaling. As we said, very similar to extrinsic or receptor-mediated pathway of apoptosis. Click right up here to watch my video on apoptosis and learn more about that. So also here we have a receptor ligand uh, coupling. We have TNFR1 and FAS ligation. There are two very good examples for this, but we also have several other signals that can activate necroptosis. So once the ligand attaches to the receptor, two unique receptor-associated kinases called RIP1 and RIP3 are recruited into a complex that also includes caspase 8. So the major difference with apoptosis is that caspases are not activated in this process. The end result involves permeabilization of lysosomal membrane, which causes damage to mitochondria and reduction of ADP levels. Necroptosis can happen in some physiological instances, such as during the formation of mammalian bone plate. As well as some pathologic instances like cell death in steatohepatitis, acute pancreatitis, and neurodegenerative diseases such as Parkinson's disease. So in a nutshell, necroptosis starts with external signaling, similar to extrinsic apoptosis pathway. These signals initiate an internal cascade that results in a necrosis-like death involving digestive enzymes, cell membrane rupture, and host inflammatory reaction. If you want to review necrosis and apoptosis, there are two separate videos for them. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you want, you can also find us on Facebook and Instagram. Don't forget to take a look at synapse.org.